Hello children. In this video, I am going to talk about how to use the input command in Python. Till now, we have been hard coding values in our Python programs to add or subtract numbers. Today, we will see how to take the value from the user who is running your program and to make it more interactive. So, I am opening my script mode. And let's see how to write the code. In the script mode, I'm going to write the code for accepting names from the user. So this program shows that how do we accept name from the user, name and class. So this is a comment that we have written. Now let's see. So my variable is called name. And name is equal to, I'm um, using this input command in the bracket, I'm going to write the message which will be flashed to the user when the program runs. So how will the user come to know what he has to input? For that, I'm writing a message here. So I'm writing name is equal to input. What is your name? Remember, this is just a message. You can write any message of your choice here inside this bracket. I press enter. I take another variable called CLS. Maybe you can write any variable name. Input command bracket which class do you study in? And this is my second question. Now I want to print the name hi comma and the name variable where I have taken the input from the user. And then you are in comma CLS. So this program takes input from the user and it is going to display the output based on what the user has given as the input. So just let's save our file and when we run the file with F5 key, it asks me my name. So I tell my name as Raji and I press enter key. It asks me the second question, which is which class do you study in? I say I am in 6D. I press enter and it prints out like this. Hi Raji, you are in 60. So this is how we take input from the user. Again, if I run the same code, it is going to print ask me again. So here the next user, whoever comes here, maybe they can give their name uh, Pratibha maybe and their class. So uh, she can write 6C and press enter. Hi Pratiba, you are in 6C. So input command allows me to take input from the user and in, use that input in my program. Now how do we write a program to accept numbers from the user? So what happens when we use the input command? It takes the input as a string and for numbers we have to use some other way. Let me tell you that. So here my code will now accept two numbers and add them. So let's write the code. Num1 is equal to input. Please tell the first number. This is a message. You can write it as your own message in any other way. Num2 is equal to input. Please tell the second number. Now I want to add the two numbers. So we do as we have been doing always. Sum is equal to num1 plus num2. And I will be displaying the answer. So I will say the sum is comma sum which is the variable inside which I have taken the uh, addition. I have done the addition of the two numbers. So now I will save it and I am going to run the code. So it asks me for a number. I say 23 and next number I say 45. Let's see what it prints. It is going to print me 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not printing the sum. Why? Because it has just taken the two numbers as string values and joined them and printed. 
but that was not our aim we have to take the numbers as integer so let us change the program we have to do a little change here here we have to change the string value to an integer value so i add this keyword int here so when i use the input command for integers i have to convert the string into an integer only then i can use it like this and produce the result as a proper integer value now i press f5 save it and now when it asks me i say 23 and 45 it's going to give me the answer as 68 which is the correct answer why did this happen now because we have converted the string into an integer like this so this is how we work with numbers in our code so same way if i want to find the say for example i want to find the difference of these two numbers so only thing i need to make a change is here and here maybe i take another variable here also and i run the code and it prints me to task me two numbers so i say 45 and the other number may be 11 so it gives me the output as 34 which is the difference between the two now if i want to take the numbers as decimal numbers for that i really need to remove this int from here and i use the float value so i change it as float and now it allows me to take the decimal numbers and work with them to find the difference or the sum or the product or the quotient as you like it okay so here let us take let us see if it gives me it allows me to take uh, decimal values so here it asks me a number i say i want 45.5 and 34.3 and tell me the difference between the two it is telling me the difference like this but if i do not use float and i simply write int here it will not allow me to take the decimal value so let me just tell this also to you so here if i write i want 45.3 it's going to give me an error you see because integer takes only values without decimals so i have to keep this in mind whether i want to work with the decimal numbers or with the integer numbers so in this way we can work we can accept numbers data from the user and work with it uh, let me just write one more small program maybe i can find the square of a number say i take just one uh, number from the user accept one number and uh, find the square so i say num1 double asterisk or the exponent operator and print the square of the number is s q u a r e and i press f5 let's see ask me for a number here i say i am print 5 it gives me 25 okay so this is how we work with the input command uh, i hope you understood the input command and please use it in your program